One of the most satisfying things as an architect is to see the finished work. See, as an architect, you're you're drawing things. You're you're completely in the future. So to see that future actually become reality, that's a special experience. to the colorblind architect does Archicad and I was able to go out to a job site the other day and capture some video of a nearly completed building that I designed. That's always a satisfying thing as an architect to be able to walk through a space that you designed, especially if it's one that you like. Um, obviously if it's a building that you don't like, it's not as exciting. But in this case, it's a building that I think turned out pretty nicely. And it's, you know, maybe not gonna be winning any international awards, but it's something that made me feel good to see it. So let's get started. What I wanna do is I wanna compare the footage that I took on site of the actual building to the Archicad model. Now to do that, I'm going to use an old feature of ARCHICAD that's been in ARCHICAD for at least 20 years, and that is the camera path tool. Now, before we do that, I just want to note, look at the screen. You're seeing a rendering produced by the Maxon Render engine built into ARCHICAD. Now, this is a still frame image, and it doesn't look that good. Now look at the time in order to render this in 1080p. Yeah, almost 20 minutes. That's pretty sad. It's pretty much the reason why I have not been using the internal render engine in ARCHICAD for many years. I've been using Lumion and then more recently in the last couple years when Epic Games bought Twin Motion and they made it free for ARCHICAD users. I had very little incentive to pay money to Lumion, uh, even though Lumion I think is a better product than Twin Motion. The result is I, I can still render very easily in Twin Motion, produce some reasonably convincing renderings, and it's just something that makes ARCHICAD's internal rendering just trash. It's, it's just trash, but that's okay. With the camera path though, that's still a feature that you can use to just get a feel for the space. And especially if you're doing it in the 3D engine, you know, the, just the regular 3D viewer using the, um, using the regular uh, graphics card uh, processing of the 3D model, you know, it's good enough for really simple things to just get the feel of the space. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to look at it, compare it to the real world. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing, the video that you're seeing right now, it's just a little pan across. Now, in order to do that in ARCHICAD, we need a camera in the same place looking two different ways so that it rotates across. So you can see this first camera that I will select like that is going across here. And then the second one is right here. Now, to render that, you would go up to then document, creative imaging, click create fly through. And then on the create fly through page, you can then set your settings. In this case, MP4 movie files, color. Uh, you can check your, you can set your frame rate. You can even adjust whether you want it to be in the 3D window or the photo rendering window. Now, obviously I am not photo rendering this right now because that would take way too long. So then you can hit save and because that takes a little while, here's the video. It's very quick. 
that was only done at 10 frames per second. So not a very high frame rate, but that's okay. So let's do an image of, let's do a little quick walkthrough of going into the corner office on the second floor. Now up on the second floor, I have all the layers set. Now this is really important. I want all the layers on that I want in the 3D view because obviously I want the fly through to show everything that it should be showing. Now, because I'm on the second floor, obviously this is gonna be a little bit off and What are you doing? I'm making a video. Thirty thousand hours. All right. Hey, can you take the puppy? Cause it's still recording. Yeah, just edit this photo. All right. So, one thing I should note about this particular, uh, I should. Okay. So one thing I should note about this particular model, uh, we had a lot of changes during construction as you typically will. This is actually the model that's all the way through. And as a result, some of the things were not updated during the course of construction, just because it wasn't important to the, um, to the process of construction. So I'm just gonna correct a couple things real quick before we do that. Now, let's start creating that fly through. So we're gonna grab the camera tool. And in this case, you'll see there's a settings dialog. It's really important if we're gonna do a new camera path, if there's already an existing camera path, we need to create a new camera path. So on this camera settings, you can see that the Southwest corner pan that we already did is there. We're gonna click on this new camera path and we're just gonna call this into corner office. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to set our camera Z and our target Z as something different. Now, the important thing to remember with these cameras is they are based on the project zero, not the story zero. So the story zero is if it's second story and the second story is at 12 feet, then your, st then your story zero is going to be zero but your project zero will be 12. In this case, I want my camera to have a Z height of about five feet. So five plus 12, right? 17 feet. Our target Z, 17 feet. Now, let's go ahead and create our first camera. Now, in the video that you're seeing right now, you can see that the camera actually goes down the hall, into the door, and then into the space. So, let's do that. We're gonna create the first camera looking down the hall. Second camera, I'm still gonna be looking down the hall from a position further down. And then I'm going to rotate towards the room. Then I'm going to take another one inside the room and then I'm going to point one this way and then I'm going to do another one this way and then another one this way. Now the reason for that is the camera path creates a spline. Now if you just put, put a bunch of these in just like in the spline tool, let me show you how that works. So if I was to create a spline without the extra points, you'll see it's gonna create some wild movements and it's actually gonna go through walls. So we don't want that. What we want is for the path to go, then rotate, then go, then rotate. And that way it feels a little bit more natural to somebody walking through a space. Now, another thing that we now need to do is by default, most of these doors are going to be um, closed in 3D. Well, obviously it's really awkward to walk through a door that's closed in a video. So 
let's select this first door. We're going to select the settings. We're going to go to our opening lines page and on 3D projections, the opening angle, we're going to just go ahead and set that to 90. Okay. And then same thing on this door going into this uh, side office. This is a, this is a biparting barn door. We're going to select the settings. We're going to go to opening lines and then on opening length, we're just going to go ahead and let's see if it will give us three feet. Looks like the most open we can make it is two foot three. So there you go. We're going to click okay. And now we're going to go to document creative imaging create fly through now in this case we're going to do all frames and we're still going to do 10 frames per second just to keep this nice and simple but i am going to make sure this is color 3d window and we've got this set to the camera path into the corner office now we're going to hit save and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder into corner office, just because I wanna make this kind of a separate thing. And and let's click save. Now it's gonna render. Now, of course, as you can see, this is a very easy process. Here's the finished rendering of the 3D walkthrough, the fly through. And here is the actual walkthrough I did with the GoPro through the space. Now to finish off the video, I'm going to share just an uncut version where it's just the video from the actual building and with a little bit of music just for enjoyment. I'll also create a separate version of the video where it's just that scene and publish those at about the same time. Anyways, hopefully this has been helpful. I don't know if it is, but either way, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hitting like or giving me a rumble and thank you for joining me today. Again, I'm the Colorblind Architect. Peace out.